update four on Typhoon Neo Guri, which is currently located in the Western Pacific with winds of 140 miles per hour and a pressure of 933 millibars. The storm's located at 18.0 degrees north, 132.9 degrees east, and is expected to become the first Category 5 typhoon of the season. The storm is expected to move towards the northwest, intensifying along the way, and could possibly affect the Japanese Ryukyu Islands as a Category 5 typhoon or as a Category 4 storm before moving on to the main islands of Japan still as a typhoon and could still be a strong one at that as well. Uh, the southern Korean peninsula could also be affected by the storm, um, but it's uh, somewhat unclear as to whether that will be the case. Japan, though, should definitely be watching out and monitoring the progress of the storm, particularly the further south you are. Um, but the whole of the country could be affected in one way or another in the next few days. Sea surface temperatures remain very hot and you can see a pocket just west of Okinawa which is where the storm is sort of expected to go at the moment uh, where the real heat continues just for a little bit longer and that could prove to be um, a bit of a disastrous um, consequence as the storm moves towards the north. A CMC model takes it through that alley there between Okinawa and the Miyako Islands towards the uh, west and the storm is expected to move into the East China Sea and make landfall in Japan according to the CMC model and three new storms forming behind that as well by the way the GFS takes it just a little bit more towards the east and that creates the possibility maybe even of a category 5 landfall in Okinawa that would obviously be um, a, a worst case scenario it would have disastrous consequences um, the latest satellite imagery then you can see how the storm has been developing over the past 24 hours um, a few hours actually on the latest satellite imagery uh, the eye is becoming a little bit more better defined but it, the storm hasn't actually intensified very much in the past um, uh, 12 to 24 hours it's gone from around it's gone from 130 miles per hour to 140 so we haven't seen that much intensification though the next step to intensification could be um, along uh, could be coming up next I suppose uh, though in the last few images it looks like the eye walls not looking so good uh, there might be a replacement cycle going on maybe um, but then we could possibly see some more development and some real intensification going on to make that push towards category 5 status as of July the 6th at 2 a.m. UTC, Douglas was declared dead, an extratropical storm, well, post-tropical, uh, as is Arthur, but still causing problems to Nova Scotia and Newfoundland and the rest of Atlantic Canada. 96S is an invest in the South Indian Ocean with a slow chance of development, and of course we've got Neo Guri. 35 tropical storms have formed so far. Uh, 14 of those have become Category 1 cyclones, hurricanes, typhoons, the equivalents, 74 miles per hour or higher. 8 of those have become Category 3 storms with 115 miles per hour winds and above. This, of course, is the 8th Neo Guri. So that's the current situation there. Um, you can stay up to date. With any of Force 13's six outlets, you can visit the website force13.com, which will keep you up to date as best as I can update it uh, with all of the storms out there. Um, the video sites, YouTube and Daily Motion, just search Force 13 to find the associated videos on this storm and indeed anything else uh, cyclone related. Uh, you're probably watching one of those right now. And the social pages, Facebook and Twitter, just search Force 13 on those and they will keep you up to date throughout the day as well. Um, at Force 13 on Twitter. And you can talk to me personally at Fool13 on Skype if you want to talk tropics. Uh, that's all for now for this video. The next update on Neo Guri will follow at 2pm UTC on Sunday, July the 6th.